So as you work on your next feature film, your next short film, whatever it is that you're trying to build, etc., hard work and patience are two things that are in absolute contradiction to each other, but at the same time make absolute and perfect sense when you apply them to the thing that you're trying to build. How does any of that make sense? Let's jump in. Ah, uh, yeah, what's up everyone? Welcome to Film Inspiration. My name is writer, director, Red Rivera, and this is The Process. Welcome, and if you haven't done so, please hit that little subscribe button as well as that little bell. That way you're notified next time I make a new video for you. How are you all doing? I hope you guys had a great and productive week. I had a really good productive week also. Got up every morning at the before the crack of dawn. Uh, edited, went to work, banged out some YouTube videos for you all. Um, it was good, but there was a lot of work as usual. There was a lot of work that was involved. Hard work is always going to be part of the equation. Now the reason why I bring up the fact that hard work is always going to be part of the equation is because in this world of hard work where hard work always wins, uh, you're going to have a lot of people who maybe don't want to work hard and you're going to have other people who want to exploit those people with their get rich quick scheme or what I call the get rich quick schemers. They're out there you guys and they're going to try to sell you the notion of oh there's this other route, this other path. Don't ever fall for it. Hard work wins every single time. A lot of these shysters and schemers are going to have their big idea that's gonna make you millions of dollars, pro probably promise you fame and fortune. Don't fall for it. Honest hard work wins each and every single time. The best part about hard work is that it's totally within your control. So how much you wanna put in, how little you wanna put in, obviously I recommend you putting in a lot of hard work, uh, you'll get better results, but ultimately it's within your control and not anybody else's as long as you are putting in the work. But here's the thing about hard work. Uh, a lot of times you're gonna have your, your hustlers out there who will encourage hard work. I'm definitely encouraging hard work, but it comes along with a balance. The balance needs to be there because what happens and you know maybe it's happened to you, it's definitely happened to me, it's definitely happened to a lot of people that I've seen, but what happens is you see that hard work and the desire to work hard turn into a desperation or an anxiety. And then that's when people burn themselves out by pushing themselves too hard, not pacing themselves. And that's when you, that's when you really see people and projects trip over themselves. We've all been there in one shape or form. I definitely have. And, uh, that's why I'm very aware and conscious of this phenomenon. A lot of people call it burnout, but you know, It'll have different names. Now when you're hustling really hard on that project, if it's a feature, a short film, or maybe you're not in film and you're doing something else, have you ever stopped to think if you should slow down? Or let me go another level deeper. Have you ever stopped to think if you should stop to think about slowing down? Because it's in that slowing down, you're able to analyze and take a moment to really understand, okay, am I going too fast? Uh, in the case of editing a scene, is this scene coming out the way I want it to come out or do I need to take just a little more time? You can't have that thought process unless you slow down and just take a moment to maybe question or wonder if you need to slow down and if you need to reanalyze uh, how fast you're trying to get stuff out there. If you're going too fast, my question is, is it cooking right? Now, I use the term cook because I very much see it like cooking when I'm doing a scene. Am I working fast enough? Am I working at a good enough pace to where I'm getting something done every single morning? And on the other hand, am I going so fast that I am neglecting things that I still need to take care of? Let me give you an example. You work on a scene, you're editing a scene for a movie, and this happens to me all the time, where I'm just like, oh, that doesn't quite look right, that doesn't quite feel right, or maybe this one part is still bothering me. And so those are the moments when you have to slow down and go back and make those adjustments to make sure it comes out just right, to where it comes out just the way you want or need the feel to be. And so that's where hard work and patience comes in and total contradiction, right? But you do have to hustle and keep on moving and keep on going, but not so fast to where you're not fine tuning and you're not taking care of the things that need to be taken care of to make sure that your product comes out good. And that's the contradiction between hard work and patience. You have to go fast enough at a good enough pace and rhythm to get stuff done efficiently and effectively, while at the same time, slowing down enough to make sure it gets done right, step by step, bit by bit. 
It's a contradiction, but also at the same time, it's a balance. And you have to figure out how that balance will look and feel for you and your work and whatever it is that you're doing and whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. Now, for example, as many of you noticed, I've recently fired up my YouTube channel once again with my new graphics package. But here's the fact of the matter with YouTube. I've had my channel for about literally 13 years. I really didn't get serious about vlogging on it till about six, no, I'm sorry, three years ago in 2016 in its various reincarnations. Wait, that would be like four years ago, actually. I still think I'm in 2019. But the fact of the matter is, if you take a look at your favorite YouTubers, if you take a look at the people that are inspiring you and producing the content on YouTube, they've been at it and they've been hustling a really long and really hard time because ultimately they understand one thing, whether or not it's verbalized like this, I'll verbalize it like this. It's about, it's about the marathon. It's not about the sprint. You have to understand that, or at least what I'm trying to do here on YouTube, when I try to bring you guys value, it's about the marathon. It's about the long term. It's not about the short term and thinking that I'm gonna get magical results right away. For some people it can take months, for some other people it could take years. And yeah, every now and then you will see those videos that go viral, but in those viral moments, if you do a search for those YouTubers on what their thoughts and feelings were after the virality of a video weaned off, you're gonna see that a lot of times, a lot of times they say, okay, I had to get back to work and it was a nice moment and I capitalized off of the momentum that that one video got me, but it was really basically back to the hustle a lot of times. Hence, when you're trying to build something, especially here in the content creation world, it's definitely about the marathon, not the sprint. Now I understand that a lot of times as content creators, at least in this realm of YouTube or maybe whatever other platform you may be on, a lot of people are gonna to wanna to put pressure on these platforms to be their financial saviors. A lot of times, on top of it taking a lot of time to garner up an audience, always provide that audience with value, even when you get to monetization, the numbers aren't amazing. Let me break it down for you. When you watch somebody else's YouTube commercial and you see the commercial play all the way through and you sat through it basically, that is one monetized view for that person. Now when a YouTube creator has that happen 500 times and you have 500 monetized views with people who sat through the ads, you get a whopping $1. So for every thousand monetized views with the commercials running through, you're gonna get two bucks. So in that sense, it's very much like Las Vegas. You might go with your own expectations, but really it's designed for the house to win according to the numbers that they put out. Now, when you place those crazy expectations upon YouTube, which a lot of people who are, you know, gonna jump into YouTube definitely do, that's when YouTube can become unhealthy. That's when content production can become unhealthy because you place so many of your eggs into this one basket and maybe without understanding the math or the construction of a YouTube channel or a YouTube video, a lot of people put these high expectations and hopes for YouTube to be its financial savior, for YouTube to be the thing that's gonna help somebody make a million bucks. The reason why that pressure can become unhealthy, and we've all heard of these YouTubers that burn out because they're trying to just pump out content for the sake of pumping out content to be famous, to be, to go viral, things like that. That's when you hear about things like people needing to take a break from YouTube. That's definitely not healthy. So here's where I apply hard work and patience to my process. I have been there where I look at YouTube as, oh, this thing has to make me the million dollars that I want per year. But you have to come to a point where you're okay with then not putting that pressure on YouTube. The reason why I say that is because three years ago, I learned how to invest and it is ridiculously simple. It sounds a whole lot more complicated than people make it out to be. I know just the sound of the word investing can be a turnoff to a lot of people, but it's not as hard as it sounds. And maybe I'll be doing a YouTube video on that in the future. How this comes into play is because with my financial structure, now including investing and those investments making the money that they are, I'm able to then mentally take the pressure off of YouTube for being this money maker, this thing that has to produce money because my investments over here are doing exactly that. Now the reason why it's important for me to take that pressure off of YouTube is because then I'm not feeling that pressure to just constantly pump product out there to put myself out there in a ridiculous pace. And I don't have unrealistic expectations of YouTube, of you guys as my audience, of myself to just meet some quota because I'm putting pressure on YouTube. That's why I took the pressure off of YouTube because again, I'm doing investing that 
that is producing money in this whole other area. That allows me to have a little bit more patience with what I'm doing with YouTube and to be a little bit more at peace with that process of what I'm doing here on YouTube. Now, it was this very thinking that brought me a lot of inner peace with understanding that good things take time to build, whether I'm talking about you know, a 401k at work or my investments or the value that I'm providing over time in the long term here on YouTube. I came to a point of understanding that it is okay for it to take a long time and for understanding that it will take a long time to build anything substantive. Because ultimately in the end, real world substantive things, good things, either in the world of finance, business, the arts, etc., good things real good things take time to build and i know that that's an absolute contradiction to today's instant gratification world that we live in but guess what facts are facts good things will take time to build now back to the contradiction of hard work and patience i'm not saying come to a place of inner peace and taking it easy because you should just kind of totally chill out 100 percent I'm saying come to a place of inner peace of understanding that on one hand, you have to hustle hard every single day to do what you want to do. But on the other hand, you have to be okay with the notion that it's going to take time. That's the patience aspect to this. That's exactly why you have to avoid these get rich quick schemes and schemers because there is no such thing as getting rich quick. There is the hard work that you will have to put in, especially if you're starting from zero, from the ground up. And then there is the patience that you're gonna have to deploy in order to be able to understand that it's gonna take time. It's gonna take time. Anything that you're building outside of all these get rich quick schemers and their products and services, it's gonna take time. Whether I'm talking about making my feature film, building my 401k, my investments or the YouTube channel, good things will take time. But again, let me repeat this one more time. If you can come to that understanding of it will take daily, daily hustle while at the same time patience and you being okay with the fact that it will take time, that's when you can move forward with a sense of inner peace that will allow you to do things without desperation. But more with purpose, more with the goal in mind. And more than anything with an inner peace, toward creativity and efficiency that you've probably not known before. I don't know, at least that was the case with me with my creative process. Now let's talk about basics. As long as you have your basics covered, such as, such as food, clothing, and shelter, etc., and you work hard on one hand with that patience and understanding that it will take time, then any results that you see, if it's completing your feature film, growing that 401k, or also your investments, or in my case as well, my YouTube channel, any extra gains that you're gonna see are gonna be an added benefit in addition to the blessings of already having your basics like food, clothing, and shelter covered. When you do see those added benefits, whether they come in the form of money or maybe accomplishments like that feature film or the short film or whatever it is that you're trying to build, maybe it's a side hustle or a business, that will only have happened because you gave yourself the ability to keep on going because you never stopped. And the reason why you never stopped, as it is in my case, is because you understood that it takes two things, hard work and patience. Now everyone, this is just my two cents on the mixture of hard work and patience and the reasons behind it and the explanations behind it. But what is, what is your mental process with regards to hard work and patience? Are you a person that's impatient and wants to see the results because you're putting in the hard work and if so, have you ever burnt out? Have you ever, you know, f basically flown off the rails because you push yourself so hard? Or on the other hand, are you a person that knows that it's definitely more about the marathon and the sprint? Let me know in the comments below because again, these are just my thoughts. I wanna hear what you guys have to say and if I can learn anything from you guys, all the better, right? Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Now what I want you guys to do is to run out there, go and make your dreams happen. If you have a higher power, consult your higher power. If not, don't ask for anyone else's blessing or permission. Run out there, do your thing, tell your stories. I'd love to hear about them. Drop a link if you have something you'd like to share in the comments below. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. My name is writer, director, Ed Ribarra, and this has been Filmspiration, The Process. I loves you. Adios. Mm -hmm.